Okay, so this is an implicit differentiation practice problem. You got to get really, really good at this. This may show up on the multiple choice part, not on the free response. The free response, I'm going to do a question that looks a little bit like this on the, for the next video, and you'll see how that kind of works out. So anyway, I'm going to take the derivative of this thing. So you see, this doesn't work out well. We know we're going to take an implicit dif differentiation when we can't get y by itself. In this case, we can't get y by itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate this whole thing. So we're going to take d dx of this whole thing, which leads to y cubed. We want d dx of that. Plus, we want the derivative d dx of y squared minus d dx of 5y minus d, <laughs> d dx of negative x squared is equal to d dx of negative 4. Right? Just to give us an idea of what we're looking at here. Now we're going to start taking these derivatives. First, I'm going to take the derivative of the outside piece. So I'm, this is what I'm pretending here. In my mind, I'm doing this. I'm saying that this piece right here consists of two parts, the outside part and the inside part. So the, the derivative of the outside part is 3 times inside part squared. This is the chain rule, isn't it? And remember, the inside part was y, so 3y squared. The derivative of the inside is dy dx which is just the derivative of y with respect to x, isn't it? I'm going to do the same thing here. So we're going to get here 2y dy dx. I didn't write it all out, but I'm doing the same thing. I'm pretending that this is the inner piece. So I'm taking the derivative of the outer piece, which is something squared. So 2 times something squared. Decrement the exponent here to put it down to 1, and then take the derivative of the inside, right? Chain rule minus 5, that's the derivative of the outside part. The derivative of the inside part is dy dx. And this should be, it should be like this, shouldn't it? Minus 2x is equal to, and the derivative of negative 4 is 0, isn't it? So I'm just going to keep pushing my way through here. <clears throat> I'm going to clean this up a little bit so you can see this. This is 3y squared dy dx, 3y squared dy dx. Now look, I'm looking for everything that has a dy dx in it. I'm going to leave it on one side. I'm going to move everything else to the other side. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move this negative 2x here. It does not have a dy dx on it. So just to simplify this, I'm going to add 2x to both sides. If you're wondering why the hell did I do that, it's a, it's a good question. First of all, remember, we should have, D, well, there's our dy dx to that thing right here, isn't it? Now, if you look, every one of these pieces has a dy dx attached to it, so I can factor out dy dx, which is what I intend to do here. So I'm going to factor out dy dx, and it's dy dx times 3y squared plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 2x. Remember, our goal here is to find out what dy dx is. So we're almost there, aren't we? <clears throat> I'm going to divide both sides by this piece right here. And we're going to get dy dx is equal to 2x all over 3y squared plus 2y minus 5. And that's our derivative, implicit derivative. All right? So remember on implicit differentiation to look and see if you can get y by itself. If not, you probably have a case of implicit differentiation. So this is how you would do that. Uh, I've given you tons of problems that look like this. So hopefully this can be a model of how you do those problems because they all look similar. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And thanks for your support. Comments are always welcome. Thanks.